all of the cookware will go into a 550 degree oven. Because That's the highest rated of any cookware yeah, on the market. I, wait a minute. So yeah. I've never heard of any other cookware going into a 550 degree oven. Absolutely. So you can you can bake in it if you can fit it. And in restaurants, we get very busy. So we often sear things in the pan, and then we take that whole pan and go right into the oven with it. And knowing that the, the, the little buttons, the rivets on the handles are not going to loosen up. Speaking of the handles, you can see the way that's designed. This is a, a patented cool grip design. So the pan is very hot. As you can see, the pan is smoky. I've got a little oil right. in there. But the handle is still cool to hold on to. Right. So the heat doesn't rise up onto the handle. So you can right. pick it up and not go, ah! Yes, exactly. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> um, there's a vapor lock seal. And the, and the way the top, the, the edges are rolled is, is just beautiful. One, for pouring your sauces out. It's non-drip. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, those lids go on top. And see how that steam stays right oh, inside? Let's show and this. You watch. You don't lose all those flavors that are inside the pot. So there's, uh, there's no steam being released from here, is there? Yeah. And still, again. Can I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and see, I can hold this. Sure. Wonderful. But at the same time, you've got, you've got a little simmering broth in mm -hmm. there. And you can pop that top right off. And do we have anything cooking in here? Oh, we do. I'm sorry. Mm. I just peeked. I peeked <laughs> into the oven. Oh, no. Got some salmon that's poaching in here. <laughs> Looks to me like you're going to be making us. What do we got here? We we'll got. Gonna, we'll start with a little piece of trout. Okay. And uh, for a little pan searing, I've got a little uh, breadcrumbs and pesto crust on the outside of the trout. This is a great dish. This is one of the favorite dishes at uh, almost all the restaurants we, have, we feature. This is one of the specialties. I've eaten at but, Paul's restaurant, and I have to tell you, one of them, they, the food is absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. You, you were down recently. I was, yes. I was. Oh, but not only, but the service is pretty good too, so I want to let you know that. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good to hear that. It's good to hear that as well. Now, you, you use Cuisinart. You love Cuisinart, don't you? I do, and we, not only the restaurants, but we also have a little uh, specialty store. Right. We sell all kinds of gourmet products. Right. And Cuisinart is by far our best seller in cookware. And I love this set, and people always say to me, what should I get started with? I want to cook like a professional. Right. What should I get going with? And there's nothing better than, than this set. When you start with a, first of all, it's such a value. At $169, it's such a value to get all the pieces that you get. But to start with a set is a great way to get going when you're first getting into cooking. It's a great thing to do to get rid of those old pots that are all bent up and... and well, well, speaking of pots that are bent up, what should we look for when buying good cookware? Are there telltale signs? Sure. Okay. I mean, nothing better than, than 1810 stainless steel, which all cuisine artists made with. Um, it's sanitary. It cleans up very easy. It transfers the heat very easily because that stainless steel is wrapped around a four and a half mil encapsulated bottom of aluminum. And the aluminum is a good transfer of heat. But if you've got old stainless cookware and you say to yourself, gosh, I used to have stainless cookware and I used to burn everything. That was before they realized that it was so important to encapsulate that bottom properly. Oh, okay. Oh, now see what nice even browning we have oh, for, for a fish. And you get a nice little crust on there. And then, again, the pan is, uh, is so easy to clean out. Now, with stainless just... steel, we go from fish. We can cook, an, uh, cook another food in here, even if we wanted to go to a steak, because there will not be any transference of odors, correct? Absolutely. Okay. The, that's one of the wonderful things about that 1810 stainless steel. And, and look how easily it wipes out and cleans out. Everyone thinks that uh, you need nonstick for it to clean out oh, so easily. Look at that Isn't salmon. Isn't that beautiful? We're poaching a little salmon. Beautiful. Ooh, and it's just about done. I wanted to firm up just a little bit okay. more. Okay. But again, you see how all that stays inside. All that, that vapor, that vapor lot keeps all that moisture and flavor inside. If you, if you are a person that is huge into names and you love to buy the prestige of the name, the reliability of the name, you want to buy a name that guarantees performance and by reputation, then you want Cuisinart. And if you know someone who is very much so into the same things than you are, then they want Cuisinart. And with no shipping and handling today, to deliver to someone's door a 20-piece Cuisinart cookware set with all of the tools and the linens required to get your kitchen going, what a wonderful way to put a smile on someone's face. What a wonderful way to give someone the confidence to go into the kitchen and that pride of ownership. So when someone is coming into the kitchen and you've got family and friends and you pull out that Cuisinart cookware set, people will admire it, yeah. will be looking at it, and they'll be want to be, well, I don't know if that's such a good thing, but they'll want to be in the kitchen there with you. <laughs> I don't mind that. When I have guests over, I love to get them into the kitchen and get them working with me and let them, let them have some fun. Those eggs look pretty darn good. Isn't that good? Is that how you make an omelet? <laughs> it's, well, you know, I like, to, I like to scramble the omelet like that okay. because it, uh, it makes it nice and fluffy and really light. Well, I'll try and, that. Uh, See, I'm learning. Learn and, and, and often you see you need you think you need a uh, again a nonstick pan for an omelet you with don't. good 1810 stainless steel. You get the pan a little bit warm. You put your oil in, and very very quickly. So when you cook with 1810, as long, once you get it to a particular heat, oh, look at that omelet. Isn't that beautiful? 
you've got that non-stick surface, don't you? You sure do. And all you need to do is give it a quick wipe. And I just keep a little damp towel under my wipe stove. It out. Okay. Give it a quick wipe. And again, that 1810 doesn't transfer any flavors. You're ready to cook the next item. All right. And we have a, a preview price of 116. Uh, is this better than what you would find in a Oh, absolutely. In gourmet absolutely. shops? Yes, absolutely. And you only find Cuisinart's in the gourmet shops. You won't find them in discount stores. No. And, uh, and you know, I think it's a wonderful thing that happened a couple of years ago when Home Shopping Network picked up the line of Cuisinart. Because there's a lot of cookware choices out there. You see a lot of them on, on the programming. But Cuisinart is certainly a name you can trust. It's a, and what you get, I think, with Cuisinart more than anything is a value. It's value. a fabulous value. You break this down, it works out to about $8 per piece. So where can you find a stock pot for $8? Where can you find an 1810, 8-inch, let alone 10-inch frying pan or skillet? You go to a grocery store, you buy off-the-rack, no-name brands, you buy oh, something that you have for a month and then you have to throw away because it has lost its ability to cook or it's warped on the bottom or you've burnt it because it's not 1810. Not so with Cuisinart. Remember, you're buying the reputation you are buying the lifetime limited a lifetime limited warranty on every single Cuisinart name. In the world of cooking, Cuisinart started off with the food processor. It really did, and and again, you, you can you can trust that quality. You know that they stand behind the product. You know that Ooh. it's going to perform like a professional. See how nice and evenly that browns. Again, you've got a nice flat, even bottom pan. No matter what type of cooking surface you're using, halogen, halogen gas, electricity, all of the above works very very well. And, uh, and it cooks so very evenly. See how hot that pan is and see how evenly that, that is transferred. I love to, to cook at high heat because I like to sear that fish and lock in all the flavors into the food. Now, when you've got a great 1810 pan like this, you can cook at a high heat and not worry about damaging the pan or damaging the food that you're preparing, correct? Right, it gets, again, it gets that nice even cooking, that nice even browning. You're making a little shrimp appetizer. You, you can certainly are. So many wonderful things. Look at this, oh. Mm. You, now you too can cook like Chef Paul. You too, can, you too can prepare fabulous meals, save yourself lots of money by not going out to those five-star restaurants, but cook like a five-star chef with, oh, you're leaving them next to me so I can try them? I am. Is I'm that what make, you're doing? Yeah, let me finish the sauce. Okay, okay. Look at, look at this beautiful shrimp. So you make your wonderful sauces, you get those nice reductions, again, because of that nice, even cooking. So we make a lovely little butter sauce after searing the oh, shrimp. Oh, oh, oh. That goes right down. And oh. again, right back to the simple, easy cleanup. You give it a quick wipe. Bon appetit, everybody. Look at this. This is a very there big bon appetit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my mm. goodness me. I don't know. That's, is that grouper? This is grouper. We got yes. grouper. We have salmon. We have trout. We have an omelet. We got a filet. We got a nice filet over there, too, that we're going to start cooking. Yeah, I we? think it's time for that, isn't it? Oh, I think right, it's time. right in that pan from the shrimp. I, I mean, it's No just, transfer of flavors <laughs> again. <laughs> that's very important. I don't know if you just saw that or if you're just tuning in. Paul started by cooking these shrimp in a little bit of butter, a little bit of wine, a little bit of olive oil. Now he's just wiped out the pan and gone directly into a filet mignon. Normally you wouldn't do that because you would be concerned about a flavor transfer. Not so the case when you have top of the line 1810 stainless steel. 1810 surgical stainless steel is what surgeons cut with. It's what surgeons use in operating rooms because it is so clean and because it is so easy to work with. And it is hygienic because stainless steel is non-porous. That's why you can go from shrimp to filet mignon in a heartbeat. You're not, oh no, look at how that just came out so nice. It's a beautiful reduction of those vegetables. And you're not, and now, now you're a professional chef. Most people would say, ah, a steak in a frying pan, sacrilege. What would you say <laughs> to that? Well, again, this is a, uh, an interesting dish called steak Diane I'm gonna make, which you need to sear in a hot pan. You can certainly put a steak on a grill, but uh, for a filet mignon, to get a nice even browning like you get out of the pan, mm -hmm. you get a lot of those flavors from the steak mm -hmm. that end up in the pan, and that's what we're gonna make our sauce with. Oh. The deglazing is so important to make great look, sauces. Look at that grouper. Grouper and capers, my idea Grouper and capers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a little cream, now what's that called? Isn't that beautiful? That's a little grouper piccata. Grouper piccata? It's yeah. just, it's, what's it called? Kelly, it's grouper and capers and a little cream. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is, Kelly. Oh, man. So we'll go right in here. Now, why this, do you cook with olive oil? Is that for flavor? I like the and flavor of it. Yeah, I like the flavor of it. It's healthy. Um, 
you know, tried to use a little bit less butter in the cooking and, right. and just you put a little touch of it at the very end. All right. But uh, in the in the first stages to sear it in the olive oil, oh, you do look put at a that lot grouper. of great things. Isn't that that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. Now, I think I've saved my taste buds to try that grouper. Mm. you got to let me have a fork on this one. Do you mind? You got it. Do you have a fork? Right Thank you. Okay, here we go. Man. See, healthy and clean. Let me just take a little bite off of this. There we go. Again, a quick wipe, and we're right back in. All what right. I love, too, is the, uh, the versatility of, of the cookware. And oh. Is that any good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I might have to try the trout, the salmon, the shrimp. Oh, my... No, mm. Nothing like fresh Florida grouper when you're here. Oh, beautiful. That's for sure. Um, we got the steak. But, I, but this is another thing I love right, about it. I've got my stock pot going here, All right? right? And again, I've got that vapor lock seal. Um, I take the top off, and these, these the lids will transfer right over to the three and a half quart. And it also goes over onto the open 10 inch skillet, which is great. Oh, now you see, that is such a clever idea because rather than having 50,000 lids that you always lose, that one lid will transfer to the three pans. Now you describe this as a vapor lock seal. Why do we want that vapor lock seal? Well, you want to be able to keep all those flavors inside when you're cooking. You, uh, uh, you know, there's certainly times when you want an open skillet when you're you're doing a reduction sauce. Oh, is that when you? <laughs> <laughs> but is that often, when you want to? Oh. But often you want to keep all those flavors in, like with a stock or a okay. broth. Uh, you don't want all that to, to evaporate and cook away. So you keep that covered, and you get a nice even browning. That steak is coming along. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? What I love about this cookware set, besides the name of Cuisinart, the reputation of Cuisinart, the performance of Cuisinart, okay, love that, is that every pan is the pan you're going to use. A stock pot for spaghetti, spaghetti sauces, soups and stews, uh, a great big saute, a deep three-quart uh, three saute pan that you can bake in, that you can fry in, that you can cook in and do so much. Two frying pans, an 8 inch and a 10 inch, that you will use constantly. A 1.5 quart and a 3.5 quart, a 3 quart that you will use constantly. I mean, these are pieces that you will use on a almost on a daily basis. And when family and friends come to visit, they'll be in the kitchen. You'll be, they, they will want to be in the kitchen with you cooking. They really will. And it's such a fabulous gift. The holidays are coming oh, yeah. up. It's a wonderful, wonderful gift. Especially with the free shipping right now, it's just, it's such a value. It's such a wonderful, wonderful value. And uh, gourmet shops will not give you flex pay. Gourmet shops will make you pay it all up front and probably not at $169.90 as this is a special configuration made just for HSN. 30-day free trial. Cooking oh, it like crazy. Oh, if it doesn't work, oh, send it back to oh, us. Oh, no, no. January 31st. Really? Extended holiday, uh, ret extended holiday return policy.